Hey, if you want to get them badges done easy, fast, free, safe, hit up Hero Grinders. Links in the description below. We are in the stage today to give you guys a relaxed balance tutorial. Okay, so you see I'm playing against a level 40. You see I'm playing against some comp in the stage, right? You see the small point guard. You see the cheesy lineup. They're here. They're back. Now I'm going to give you guys the breakdown. We lose this game, but you're going to get all the gems on how to clamp this, okay? First contest. Now off rip, you can see I'm playing with some sleepers. So I push up and I go in front of this screen. You know this small guard wants to go to that left side that's very much wide open. Look at his moves. And he wants to get to this tight little corner peak and shoot. But now that you have the new contest, you want to make sure you tap Y or triangle very fast and you will get that good shot contest right there. You see how fast they want to go for those shots? They still playing that meta, that robotic kind of way to where they just want to go with those peaks. Just drill to side, get those peaks real quick, real fast. It's very easy to predict and read. Off rip, we're pressing him. We're giving him the great press. You see how we're following him back and forth. He's trying to do the rhythm dribbles. We're staying with him. And look how he gets the wide open three. Like I said, I'm playing with sweepers. These guys, I don't know who they are. They just hopped on. I don't know why they in the state. Now, there was a guy who commented and said that these tactics won't work on good players. Okay. You see, this is a clan. I didn't even notice this was a clan. I just be hopping on the court and playing like I'm really in the real park. You see what the press does? It forces him to speed up. The center has to set these higher screens. I'm getting around them because I know how to move. Like I said, use utilizing that left stick to get around those screens. Free running. People who watch me know the free running method. You see when he tries to do that size up because he wants to try to cheese and crack and shoot those tight peaks. I'm on it. I know you got blinders, mismatch, expert, all that. But you see my team is just sleep, so of course he passes it to the corner but that's very important you see how i get the main guard to get the ball out of his hand this guy wanted to sit in the corner and not shoot that much you can tell keep watching the gameplay it's all about taking that guard out the game focusing on getting around those screens so you're going to see these guys i played with was crazy so look at this getting that body contact you see how i'm staying loose free running through the screen yes finally my teammate runs over perfect play I put this guard in the box. I put him in the pit. I show you guys the true power. You see how he's trying to do the size ups and, and get those shots off? That's what he wants. That's what he's familiar with. This gameplay will be the gameplay to show you guys. Defense is really powerful. It's more powerful than offense. Messing the teams up, you can sometimes get wide open plays just based off of defense. Now look at this team. Watch how he does not hit me so slow. This guy gets time to come back. Luckily, we get the shooting foul. So you can see I'm playing with complete Rand DCOs. Like these guys don't play like that. I don't know why they was in the stage. Maybe they was like, let's turn it up. I don't want to test my skills out. Yeah, sir, I could take that. That's cool. We could take that. But just watch, you know, it's just, <laughs> it gets really, really bad. But the defense and the gems is still here. You see, I'm staying with him. This guy's out of control, people. Um, Now, who said my tactics wouldn't work yet? Yeah. Look how we are speeding him up. He's speeding his game up now. Look how he's just trying to run away from me. And he's doing moves into his center and I'm nowhere even near him because I know this. I understand where he's trying to go. And you see how I'm letting go of L2, right? So I don't get in that defensive clamp position so we can still move and navigate through those screens so we don't get sucked in. And you see we get a contest. He wasn't expecting for me to be there. He's expecting for those screens to hit. And he wants to shoot so fast. This is one of those players that just wants to play so fast. He even has his meter on because he's just too fast. And he probably can't handle that base 98. So he still has his meter on. But he could green. He can shoot still. You can see he's playing with good people. So this should, goes to show you people. If you have your defense even better now. These guards are struggling even more using these same mechanics I've been teaching for a long time. Look how I'm left sticking. He thought that screen was going to hit me. And he could shoot fades. Yes, you know these guys are running around shooting fades. They've been watching all these small guard YouTube videos that YouTubers have been dropping. And they've been shooting fades with Chef and all that. Green. I real basketball always prevents. You see he has the cold right now. He needs a jacket now. It's cold outside. Look at the steel. 
because we know his stats and his attributes are low. I hope you guys are enjoying this. This is only part one of my defense tutorials in the stage. Now I'm gonna bring you part to that's a tutorial stage, all types, because there's a lot of people who talk and say you can't do this here or this wouldn't work here. This is basketball before it's this glitchy dribbling stuff that someone created with their own mind. If you can't understand that, you're still gonna struggle. Now, I'm playing with randoms, they're not playing no good D, but just watch how much I'm carrying them. We could have really won this game, literally against this type of comp if they would have just kept feeding me and playing properly. You see he's getting blocked, I go and pick it up. Don't worry, I got you, take my time, look at them, scramble. When you really know how to play and move, when you really understand that you're playing against kids sometimes, I be understanding this sometimes in my life, yo, these are kids, they're playing in the meta, chill out, try to bait and do certain things that they don't even understand about basketball. Okay, now watch the X play. <coughs> Now pay attention, remember the mathematic system. When players are cold, this is where you really want to try to get a reach in and get a good steal in to just make it even more worse for him. You just want to stack all that defensive pressure on him as much as you can. Why when he does the behind the back right in front of my face, are you serious? You gotta do the sh on the steal. Cause there's a window right there. Right when you put it in front of my face and you're cold, are you serious? 92 still. mathematic system now I want you guys to pay attention to something watch how now this guard all he does is pass the ball I have perimeter badge drop on now and watch how he just passes the ball watch how my team doesn't feed me terrible pass that's a lock level 40 in the passing lane but these guys don't play like that I can tell so I ain't getting that mad he comes and strip me I strip him back but they just got the momentum now. I come with the jump, the block. My team is not even helping me in the paint. Like, look at look at the guy. Look what he's doing. He's not even going out to contest him. It's just like, look at him in the Nike shirt. You see what I'm saying, fellas? So at this point, I'm just frustrated. I'm like, wow, all that turn up I was doing, like we could have kept, like I could have been eating these boys up. Look what they're shooting. And look how he is now controlling the ball because the guy on the cold ring, and I'm still here to contest, what are you doing, stop it. Look at the defense, give me the skill. <laughs> this is a key gem you have to pay attention to. When you see somebody with a cold ring dribbling around and you're a lock, you go and you reach. His shield, think about it like if it was Fortnite and he had shield, right? Blue shield on, he has no blue shield. You can go and strip that boy, don't spam, time it perfectly, time it properly when the ball's exposed. You see, I got that pickpocket on gold. Look at this. Look at the defense I'm playing. I am everywhere, people. And he, you see, he strokes up. He gets that green. So this guy could have been shot. He could have been stroking up. But like I said, I always lock down the guard. I always do my job. More people have to understand how to play defense, really learn how to play defense and care about it. That's the problem with 2K right now. That's why the cheese still gets pushed because nobody can guard the cheese. The cheese is very easy for me to guard. You see, he's, he's been off his badge, he's been off his game all game. That's the main guard. He can't even work out like how he wanted to. Make it a struggle for them. You don't learn this type of defense, it's gonna be hard. You see how I'm pressing him every play. Every play. Sliding back, sliding away from the screen, sliding up. And why does he foul? I would've had that still. That's why. 2K needs like some type of switch alert to tell your teammates to switch. You can't guard him. Some type of call out thing. Because randoms don't get it. This guy knows he can't guard him. I don't know why he's trying to come and reach and play extra crazy defense now. You see I've been guarding him, locking him up. Why don't you just make the switch onto the big and go play that role? Because you can't slide around these screens. Now you see how I'm maneuvering around the screens. I am not holding on L2. Okay, a player is just getting into that animation, but you see how I'm running and my hands are moving still? That's because I'm just using the left stick and turbo. Now if he wouldn't have reached, he would have got caught into my animation and I would have stripped him right there. Do you see how I'm positioning myself each time? Depending on where he makes his move, where his, his dribble moves start to get weak. And he's trying to make that crossover now to dribble off. 
You have to be ready to anticipate that, get in front of that, and cut that off. See, I'm sliding back around the screens, getting right back to him. Finally, my teammate gets a good plug, but it just wasn't enough, you know? It just wasn't enough. He does this. Ah. <laughs> uh, and pretty much you know what happens next so people listen when i start streaming y'all defense is gonna have to be good because it's gonna be exposed on stream is it gonna be another year of og having to switch on to somebody's man and guard him for him or can people get the defense down this year this is the first the basic next comes the badges and against better players in my opinion positive vibe.